Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Everything NBA, and for today's video, we got my segment on Atani this morning on first take. People are misinterpreting what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the state of the game. Baseball itself. Baseball's a great game, a great sport. And some of the greatest players in the world are foreign players. Tatis comes to my mind. I love this brother and what he brings to the table. And Otani is the second coming of Babe Ruth, okay? That's not what I was trying to say. I'm talking about the marketability and the promotion of the sport is exactly what Sports Illustrated essentially alluded to in their article last month when they talked about 28% of the players in Major League Baseball are foreign players. A lot of them need translators. You know, Spanish, it could be Mandarin, Japanese, the list goes on and on and on. If you are a sport trying to ingratiate yourself with the American public the way Major League Baseball is because of the problems that you've been having to deal with in terms of improving the attractiveness of the sport. It helps that if you, if you spoke the English language, it doesn't mean anything more than that. Baseball is a great game, but baseball's audience is significantly older than the NBA, the NFL audience, etc., etc. That's what I was talking about. Nothing more. We're only talking about Otani because he's phenomenal. He's going to be in the home run derby and he's got 33 home runs with a 279 batting average. Plus, he can pitch and he's the second coming of Babe Ruth, practically. We know it's an international sport. We know that that's great. And baseball having a global appeal that it is, fine. But in the United States, all I was saying is that when you're a superstar, if you can speak the English language, then guess what? That's going to make it that much easier and less challenging to promote the sport. That's all I was saying about anybody. Later. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you didn't, feel free to dislike. But anyways, subscribe if you want to see NBA related videos every day.